Alchemy of Souls Season 2, which had held us in its grip, is finally here, and we are loving it so far. The first and second episodes aired last weekend, and we finally got some of our perplexities answered. Nax's resurrection, Jang Wook's suffering, Seo Yul's pain, Dang Gu's heartbreak, and Cho Yun being an accomplice by silence. We still have some questions we would like clarified and hope more will unravel as the season progresses. The last episode was amazing as we see Bu Yun, who we now know is Naksu, become Jang Wook's wife in front of the unanimous assembly. We can see the beginnings of a bonding relationship between Jang Wook and Naksu. Which, of course, many people aren't happy about. That's why today, I'm going to talk about the possibility of Mutiak appearing in the next episode and so much more. Make sure to stick to the end of the video to understand why this might be true. But first, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell to be among the first to see our content, thanks. In the last episode of Alchemy of Souls Season 2, we understood that Master Li was the power behind Naxu's resurrection. In this video, we will sometimes refer to Bu Yun as Naxu as we now know that her soul resides in Cho Yang's body. Master Li clarified that as Bu Yun's body used Naxu's energy to recuperate, her body gradually took the form of Naxu's. Although this doesn't make sense and is not well thought out by the Hong sisters, it is as close to an explanation as we can get, as we know that Yung So Min was unable to reprise her role. At the end of the episode, we can see Jang Wook boldly claiming Bu Yun as his wife in front of the unanimous assembly. Now, as we know, he did this because he needs Bu Yun's divine powers to remove the ice stone, which has become too much for him to handle. It is almost as if he wishes for death. Maybe, he thinks if he dies, he will be out of his misery and will finally meet Mutiak. On the other hand, Bu Yun needs Jang Wook to escape from the barrier-clad room Ho Kyung had placed her in since her resurrection. Therefore, this is a marriage of convenience between Jang Wook and Bu Yun. Even though we can see them gradually falling in love, we can expect it to be a bumpy ride with Jang Wook, who still pines for Mutiak. Now, in the previews for the next season, we can see Jang Wook antagonizing everyone to keep Bu Yun. He went as far as saying, if my power is my justification, would like to see you arguing with that. Here, he dares anyone to stop him from claiming Bu Yun. This surely made Bu Yun's heart flutter, she looked at him with love. Even with his grand declaration, we fear Dang Gu might try to stop him in order to please Cho Yun. We learned from the previous two episodes that he had kept a distance between himself and Jang Wook after Jang Wook's resurrection. He blames him for Naxu's transgressions in the previous season, which cost him his relationship with Jean Cho Yun. Also, in the previews, we can see a naughty Jean Bu Yun making an advance on Jang Wook, saying, I was hoping for this, with a seductive smile. While a flustered Jang Wook asks, why? What is it? One of the genius things the Hong sisters did was to make Bu Yun as funny as she is in this season. Her lightheartedness and innocence will hopefully endear her more to the fans. From this clip, we can tell that Jang Wook and Naksu will have an interesting marriage in the upcoming episodes. Then we hear the manipulative Jean Mu saying, I need to find out more about Jean Bu Yun. This is because he had known Naksu in the previous season and knows that the face of Bu Yun is Naksu's. He is not the only one that knows this. We can see So I looking at the supposed Bu Yun running through the capital. And she had expressed earlier in the episode that she knew Mutiak was Bu Yun and that the current Bu Yun is fake. Bu Yun can be seen taking a walk with Seo Yo in the preview clip. By now, we expect to see Seo Yo fall in love with Bu Yun. He could fall in love with her not only because she has the same features as Naksu, his first love, but because of her personality. Remember their first meeting, Bu Yun made him fluster by bluntly declaring that he is handsome. 
They seem at ease with each other. So something akin to love is bound to grow between them. In the preview, we could hear Naksu accept him even though she thinks he is an airhead. She said this because they kept circling the same place. We know that Seo Yo losses his sense of direction whenever he is flustered. This means we will see him smitten by Bu Yun in the next episode. We also expect the Crown Prince Go Won to fall in love with Bu Yun as he did with Mudiok last season. In this clip, he can be seen perplexed by Bu Yun calling him an anunch while demanding money. Who else observed that the events of the new season seem to mirror that of the last season? With Jang Wook being dark like Mudiok and Bu Yun being light like Jang Wook in the previous season. And the three most eligible bachelors of Daeho falling in love with the same girl. The difference is that we can expect Seo Yul to fight for Naksu this time around. He expressed his regrets for not holding on to Naksu when he found out about her three years ago to Dang Gu. Then we see Ji Mu saying, I shall summon Naksu's soul once again to distract Jang Wook, then Jang Wook's jade comes alive, and he runs to meet whoever summoned him with the Yin Yang jade. We see him staring surprisingly at his collar. There are different predictions from this scene. We wonder how Ji Mu can summon Jang Wook with the Yin Yang jade. It might be that Ji Mu, who does not like the alliance between Jang Wook and Bu Yun, will try to manipulate them. In the preview, we can see someone with a little covered plate as Jean Mu stated his intent. Maybe in this plate lies Nax's ashes which he could use to his advantage. Remember, in the last season, Jean Mu was the one that burned Nax's body on a pyre. Maybe, he got her ashes from there. And just like he put the bloodworm in Soai in the last season so she could act like Bu Yun, he might use Nax's ashes to enchant somebody to look like her to confuse Jang Wook. Remember, this is a fantasy drama, and anything can happen. This means we might see Mudiok in the next episode. If Jang Wook succeeds in enchanting someone to look like her to confuse Jang Wook, then we are in for an interesting episode. Imagine what will happen if Jang Wook, who pines for Mudiok, sees someone that looks like her. He will get distracted and confused between the fake Naksu and Bu Yun, which is what Jin Mu wants. He might neglect Bu Yun, leaving her open to Jin Mu's manipulations. Another theory could be that Jin Mu will use Naksu's ashes to enchant Bu Yun, who is Naksu. And because of this, Bu Yun might finally recall her memory. What do you expect to see in this new season? Let me know in the comment below. Stay tuned for my next video for other theories and explanations. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on your notification bell to be among the first to see our content. Thanks for watching, bye.